Hi there, this is a video for CoolSmartphone.com on the software of the Huawei Mate 9. Now as you can see from my start screen, one of the big additions to EMUI 5 is the addition of the um, app drawer to the launcher. This is something that I really missed on Huawei's of old, so I'm very very glad to see that it's been added. Now you do also have the ability to search for apps in here. So if I search for the Engadget app, you can see it comes up straight away. Down here, we, you can also see that we also are using the Google uh, keyboard, the newest version called Gboard, uh, which has the ability to do a search straight from the keyboard, which is a nice feature. Um, the preloaded keyboard is actually Swipe. So if you prefer swipe, then it is on here, um, albeit Huawei's own customizable version. If we press and hold the home screen, then you can see that you do have the ability to change your wallpapers at the bottom, uh, your widgets and transitions. If, however, we go into settings, it will show you that you can actually adjust the um, home layout up here and uh, also set up auto alignment and various different things for the apps. Coming back out of that, by swiping left and right you get the full style launcher as you would expect from Android. Um, by pressing the home button and holding you do have Google Now on tap. Again really nice wee feature there. Um, it's not finding anything for me in there. If we dig into the settings a little bit, now just to show you before we go in there, uh, this is the notification area. Now you'll see on the first drag down um, that you get your favorite five shortcuts and then dragging down fully you get all of your other shortcuts. If we jump into settings though, you can see the settings menu is laid out very very similarly to um, uh, the stock version of Android. However, there is some additions here in um, the form of Huawei's additional services. So first thing I want to talk about is the home screen style. If I tap on it here, you can see that we do have the option of standard or also drawer. Um, I'll just pop it into standard just for a wee second. So this is your standard home screen. Very, very iOS like. Um, and you can see I've not set this up, so it does look like a bit of a mess. Let's pop that back into my preferred one, which is the drawer. And I'll jump back out. Um, going back into settings, we've also got a couple of other unique features. Uh, not in there. Um, under your fingerprint ID, you do have the ability to use um, the fingerprint sensor to take photos, videos, answer calls, stop alarms, and also you can use it to bring down the notification panel as I've just done, and also in the gallery browse photos. The fingerprint sensor I have to add is very, very quick. So um, for those of you looking for that, it's definitely here. Um, this is another fairly useful service down the bottom here called App Twin. Now, so if you are lucky enough to get the dual SIM version of this phone, which um, you would have to buy direct from Vimo, then you would be able to take advantage of this solution. What it allows you to do is have WhatsApp set up for both a business SIM and also a personal SIM, or indeed for two personal SIMs. The same can be done with Facebook. So again, a really nice function there. Um, under your advanced settings there is some things that are hidden in here so you can actually set up things like your date time your users uh, simple mode and uh, turn on location services and things like that it's just um, another little setting option you need to go in uh, to hide some of the things out of the way if we quickly go into battery you'll be able to see there's various different battery saving modes so you've got your power saving mode which will just limit your background activity and then you've got your ultra power saving mode another thing that we do find in here is we've got the ability to um, whitelist certain apps 
um, that will work uh, when your screen is locked. Now this will help prolong battery life. As you can see from here, I haven't actually uh, got many things turned on when the screen isn't awake. And this does help me get about two days of battery life out of the device. If we quickly go into battery usage details, you'll be able to see there. Um, the battery was down to about 7% the last night and then I charged it um, up to around about 70% and during the course of uh, this morning from around about 6 o'clock till now it has dropped down significantly however I have been using the device for doing videos and photos and what's not um, but on average I am getting about two days usage um, you also have the ability to switch on a lower resolution mode. Now the low resolution mode will help save battery power by limiting the resolution at, down to what I believe is 720p. Um, I'd never really need to use this, so it's not something I bother with too much. If we click up in the settings cog at the top there, you'll be able to see that there is um, much more advanced settings that you can go into along with an introduction to the power saving mode. Again, something I've not needed to delve into. You've also got the do not disturb option on here, which you can set up various different um, options. Um, I just keep my phone on all the time, so it's not something that's important for me. Smart assistance, this can be quite useful. So um, being that this is quite a big phone, one of the ones that I do use is the one-handed UI. Now what this allows you to do is it does allow you to minimize your screen down to a slightly smaller um, option. That wasn't what I wanted but um, again it's not something I use all the time. What we did see there um, and I'm just going to go into the browser um, and go to our website so that will do. What we did see is we saw the ability of Android to allow us to switch um, and have two screens open at the same time. So if I now go into the an app that supports this, so Android Wear for example, you can now see that I have a web browser and I also have the Android Wear app open. Now this is actually a feature of um, Android 7.0 Nougat, which is preloaded on the phone, which um, is great. This is one of the first devices that, out with the Google Pixel line, that has Android Nougat on it. Um, so really pleased to see that. Now if I just tap that button again, um, it allows me to bring that down and go back into single stream view. So that's just a very, very brief overview of the software on the phone. Really impressed with what EMUI is doing. Uh, just before we come out of that, I do want to quickly go into settings and just show you um, what the build version is and things like that. So if we jump in here, go down to about phone, you can see that we are running Huawei Mate 9, um, EMUI version 5, and Android version. This is running the Android security patch level um, from the 1st of November 2016. So that about brings me back to the beginning of the video again. If you did enjoy this video and you want to find out a little bit more about the Huawei Mate 9, then do feel free to check out the full review that is available on coolsmartphone.com and also subscribe to this YouTube channel where there will be more reviews of more phones coming to you in the near future. Also, don't forget to like this channel if you liked it and also if you have any comments, please feel free to leave them below. That's me. Cheers. Bye.